Hey everyone, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how to create templates within Outlook. This version is going to be available for only people using the desktop app of Outlook. If you are using the browser, then I have created another video linked up in the corner here. So with that being said, let's nerd out. The first thing that we are going to do is head on up to new email, and we are just going to add a subject and we are having our first annual Christmas gala at Amy's Animal Barn and Pet Co. And this is just going to be an invite that we want to save for next year. And I always just recommend removing your email signature because when we go to send it, it will attach your current signature. So there's no reason to duplicate it. However, if you are interested in learning how to create this jazzy email signature, then you can check out my other video linked in the corner here. So now that we have this here, I just want to demonstrate that we can, you know, um, easily format this however you want. And I'm also just going to quickly attach a photo of Rue for the Christmas gala invite. All right, now that we have this template ready to go and yours is customized to your needs, we can save it. So we are going to head on up to file and we are going to go save as, and from this drop down here under save as type, we are going to select Outlook template. Now, the one thing that I do just want to highlight while we are here is that this is going to be saving on my C drive of this computer. So it's not going to be accessible from other uh, computers or laptops that I have. So if you only have one desktop, then you can just, you know, go ahead and save this here. However, if you do want to be able to access this from the desktop app on other computers, then you're going to want to save this in your OneDrive or SharePoint so that you can access it. So for example, here we've got my OneDrive account for this email and under documents, I have already created an Outlook templates folder. And you'll see here that there's already a template saved. And this is a template that I saved on my laptop and I am able to see it here. So depending on your needs and, and what your setup is, just be mindful of where this is going to save. So I'm quite happy with the file name default there. And as I mentioned, we're saving this as an Outlook template file type. We will click save. All right, now that we have that template saved, we can access it to send it in an email. So in order to do that, we are going to head on up to new items. And then we are going to go to more items and then select choose form. I'm going to pause right here and say that this is probably the biggest downfall to these templates is just the number of clicks and steps to get to this area. So if you are looking for that shortcut, then we can just press alt and then you'll see the letters pop up there. So we can go H and then we're going to go I for those new items, I again, and we are going to select O for choose forms. So from this drop down here, we are going to locate the folder that I've now saved that template. And you'll notice here that um, Outlook templates is actually what that OneDrive file folder was. If you are not able to see your file folder, it does take a moment to sync. Then I would just select the user templates and file system and that would prompt this browser button to be able to be clicked on. And then you can navigate to where your file is here and then open it and then your templates would be there. Because I've already opened this, if I go to the user templates and file system, then you'll see my templates there. But the first time that you do this, those folders might not be visible. So um, that's just a workaround. And, and you might notice that um, when you click on some of these other items, this browse button isn't visible. So that's why I just suggest going to this user templates and file system, and then that browse button will populate. So now that we have located those documents, we can now see that test template that I saved on my laptop earlier. So that's really cool that we can now access that one. But what we want to do is send this Christmas gala card. So we are going to click open, and you'll see here that that Signature has already auto populated. So that's why we remove it in that previous step when we are creating the template. And you can also customize this however you want. So, you know, it's Christmas. If we want to make this, I don't know, green, um, then you can do that and customize this however you want for this recipient. 
Now, if you are wanting to save this updated version of your template, then you're going to need to overwrite the existing template file. So you would just go up to file, save as, and I would first select this Outlook template, and then you would need to navigate to that folder where you had saved your template. So for me, we would need to um, go to this area here, and then I would just click on the Christmas Gala and then save. I'm just going to um, keep that template as it is, but these don't automatically save, so you do just need to go in and do that manually. Now that I've added my recipients and I've tweaked this template to my needs, then we can just click send. All right, so here we can see that that template has uh, been composed in an email and I've got that here. And you'll just also notice that those attachments pulled through as well. There is Rue looking really excited for the holiday gala. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. If you do have any questions about Outlook templates, then feel free to drop those in the comments below. And if you did enjoy watching this video, then please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. All right, we'll catch you next time.